Hey y'all, welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. We're idling across this lake and uh, I've got my map pulled up. It is foggy this morning. Uh, never been on this lake before. We're on Bluff Lake. I did find out there's uh, a North Mississippi refuge permit you have to purchase. Like, well, processing and all, it was like $20, 19 something a year which ain't bad it's cheaper than some of the other lakes charging so much per launch and that covers both of these lakes i think and the hunting on this uh refuge up here they got a big wildlife refuge so i have got some tidbits of information from different people on where to fish and i'm currently headed for shallow water but it is a no wake lake so we're gonna be a little while idling all the way across the lake over there which is no big deal for me. So hang with us. We're gonna see if we can catch some crappie today. Well, y'all, this has been an experience so far, and might I add a learning experience. <laughs> I, I hung one just a second ago and lost him. I mean, a good one, trying to get the camera on because I had it laying down, and I hadn't caught. I've been here for an hour or so. I've tried several different places, struggled to find really where I needed to be fishing, and I may not catch nothing yet. Oh. Uh, like I said, I hung a good one over here, and it could have been a bass. I never got it to the top of the water, but uh, it was a good fish. It was pulling line off. But I'm up in these trees, and we are, it's, this has been a, a different learning experience because I've been tangled up in, a, you can just imagine, <laughs> all these limbs around me. So I'm up in these trees, and there's another fella. He fished right over yonder, and you hear his motor now. He's moved, and uh, but now he can't fish for talking on the phone. It rings pretty pretty regular for him, and uh, I think it's hindering him a little bit. <laughs> but uh, he's looking for fish. But we're gonna fool around here and catch some a little bit. We we hunting them right now. If we ever get on something, we'll pick you back up. size alligator y'all that's about the third one I have seen well y'all we got us a little old fish he's barely 10 inches I'm not going to keep anything shorter than 10 inches uh, 
I think you can. The limit's 30, I know that. But I don't have no desire to keep nothing shorter than 10 inches anyway. Just a good rule of thumb. But y'all, I've been here quite a while and just caught my first fish. So I done fished several different spots. But it is now 12 o'clock. So, and y'all, this is a beautiful lake. I really like the look of it now. If I can just manage to figure out the fish. But I don't think they're biting real good. I've talked to several other people and they ain't nobody just laying into them, so to speak. Number three. We might catch a mess through the days over. I don't know. We're gonna work for them if we do. I gotta get my foot off that trolling motor before I run my other pole over here into the tree. Good lord, it look good. A little fish. Playing with this hand road runner a little bit. I ain't, I ain't never fished with one no whole lot. But it may be the way to go out here. I done got all fun fuzzled over here and in the wrong position. They not just tearing it up, y'all. We struggling to catch fish, but so's everybody else. There's another boat right over here somewhere, and they ain't, I've been watching them, they ain't caught nothing either, which I talked to them, and they said they hadn't caught nothing. Me trying to fish two poles is a nightmare. But I keep thinking, well, I'll just let that and sit there and one might hit it while I fish with this a little bit. Richard Jean says that, that Roadrunner is a way to locate crappie. So we trying to see. <laughs> I ain't near about good as he is at it, that's for sure. For if there's any doubt in my mind, I've proved that to myself. Y'all, I done figured out I got a problem with my Yeti thermos. Let me show you. Yeah. I know y'all done seen it a time or two. I'm a mite proud of it. Oh. Uh, but my problem is, is it holds too much coffee. Yeah. 
constantly having to get rid of a little coffee, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and out here with other folks on this lake, it's kind of a problem. You know, down there in the swamp ain't too big of a deal, but Well, y'all, looks like we're gonna go cook chicken. <laughs> you know what that means, don't you? We got three fish. We've been here all day, pretty much. I mean, it's still early afternoon, but it's like two o'clock. I imagine I'm gonna give it a, I've give it a good, honest effort. And I would really feel bad if everybody else was catching something, but. I really, I'm watching three, four other boats. There's some guys on a pier over there, and they ain't nobody catching much. One here, there, and yonder. And these folks riding around with live scope and John boats. I never seen live scope in a John boat, but there's one fellow over there. I thought he was watching Andy Griffith or something there. He had a big old TV. It covered the whole front of the boat. But he ain't finding nothing either. It ain't hoped him out not one bit today. Y'all, it really don't bother me for people to use live scope. I know some folks, they get all sideways because they can't, I can't afford it, but it don't make me mad that somebody else has got it. And if I could afford it, I don't know that I would want it. It just, I just enjoy, well, they done fired their motor up. I didn't know what that was. Oh, it's fish slapping the water right here. It ain't crappie, but uh, it don't bother me if somebody else wants to use it. My deal is I don't want to get caught up just there. I stare at this screen right here enough for the fooling with a camera. I don't need something else to be fumbling around with. The water is 59.3 degrees back up in here, which tells me these crappie ought to be thinking about getting all up on the spawn. It was like 56 when I started this morning. So the water is warming up. I come back up in here and got shallow. I am in, well, right now it's four, four or five foot of water. But the bank ain't 40 yards right over there, 20 yards. And uh, I'm just hunting them, but they just, I don't know today, they not want to bite y'all. I would love to come up here and just tear them up, but it didn't happen. Maybe one day we will get up here when everything is all just right. I did buy a year permit to fish up here, so I'm sure I will be back. And uh, I don't know what the day's going to hold from this point on. I, I'm not just fixing to crank up and drive off, but I don't see no drastic lot changing from this point on. But I ain't had nothing to eat all day. I left a mite early before Mama got up and made cathead biscuits. But I thought about them. <laughs> Ain't had time to do nothing but think. I thought maybe I'd catch one more. I'm probably gonna try to pass these three fish I got off to one of these hands over here. Ain't no need me carrying three fish to the house. And if there's somebody that's got four or five, these three might help them make a meal. I got something in the freezer somewhere or another I can cook. I actually got leftover crappie at the house from Saturday night we cooked, so today's Monday. It don't bother me to eat fish. I, I love fish, y'all. Some folks don't really like to eat them. I really like to eat them, so I can eat them. I, when you put them up, put you a paper towel in there with them, it keeps them from being real soft and soggy. Now, they're not going to be crispy like you just fried them. I don't care what you do, but it keeps them from being so soft and soggy. Oh y'all, I was I was actually, I ain't gonna lie to you, I was on the phone and hung this one. Come here now. 
Why can't I have sense enough to trip that? Where I can. Oh, well, we got four now. They over here moving up shallow. I ain't, I ain't 20 yards from the bank, y'all. Let me measure 10 inches. They ain't none of them giant. I heard there was some three pound crappie up here. But, and I don't doubt that they are, but I ain't found. I was just fixing to leave too when I got on the phone with my wife uh, talking to her. She wanted to know why in the world I was still fishing if I wasn't catching nothing and all of a sudden, don't. Well, hang on. I'll call you back. Y'all doing any good? I got four fish. I've been here all day. <laughs> but I do believe they're starting to move up here shallow. The water temp is at 59 degrees, so they should be getting ready. a little bit short. Well, y'all, I caught them three right over there sort of close to the bank one area bam 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 i caught three one of them was too short and i threw him back but not near enough i turned around and went right back up through there and not another bite so i don't know if i just got lucky right there all at once or what happened but i'm about ready to go I'm gonna make this one loop right here. I'm fixing to go right up through by some of these trees. And then that's gonna do it for me. Well, it's been real. It's been fun. I guess it's been real fun. We fixing to call it quit, so. Hey, thank y'all for watching Spirit of the Outdoors. I really appreciate it. Remember, the best way to do things is the way you like to do it. We'll see y'all next time. Y'all have a good one. <laughs>